going everybody? Welcome to the vlog. It is Sunday, December 18th. It is 4.30 in the afternoon right now. And I am currently in my dad's Peterbilt. We are over here at the feed mill where we get cattle feed for customers. Uh, pretty much what we did today is we just did some work on the semi today. Dad had some other things that he wanted to get done on the truck. Uh, we put his winter guard on the front of the hood. It pretty much is a bit kind of like a tarp kind of deal just to kind of restrict how much air comes in through the front of the hood um, and we put my dad had gotten a, a little deal that has two slots so we could hang his broom and his tool his other rake tool that he uses for cattle feed on the back of the sleeper instead of putting it in the side box of the truck we put that on and um, we've been the, the one one of the things that my dad hasn't liked about this truck is that when he's hauling stuff at night it's very hard to see in the cab at night. It's very dark in the cab. So my dad wants to have some, uh, he had always talked about having green lights in this truck. And so he got, yeah, he has a few, he had gotten a few of them a while back. And we, were, we put one, one of them in today. And here it is. It's what they call a watermelon light. Let me zoom in a little bit so it looks a little bit more real. And you can kind of see it. Wow, it looks so much different on camera. But the watermelon light, it's right here. And it just, it's a green lens and everything, so it glows green. And it's kind of cool, because when you're going down the road, you can see the green out the side window on the truck. Not up here or nothing, just in the bottom one, which is really cool. But we got that done, and then Dad decided to go ahead and come on down here and get a load of feed for a customer. A uh, race truck has one load on it, and uh, he was gonna have Scott was going to have Ray go ahead and just unload that load, come down here tomorrow and get the load that we're getting. But uh, Dad was like, we don't have anything else really going on, so we might as well go down and get it so that both loads are at the shop and they don't got to go very far. So we've been sitting on the scale now for about an hour. Usually scale in is very, very quick, but according to Dad, he came back about maybe 10 minutes ago. He came back to the truck and he said that the guy who scales the trucks in and checks everybody in is not in the is not up there in the office so dad is he, he's already called the shack and everything to let them know hey we're trying to scale in and there's nobody here so i guess it's already 4 30 the sun will be down i'll get so i'll be able to i might be able to get some nighttime driving footage now we can put this new green light into action uh go to a a few of the i think uh, we had i had a video called nighttime trucking so we've, we've done some nighttime trucking before, but not with this green light to light up the cab, so. But kind of an easy day today, but tomorrow is gonna be a big one. You can probably tell by the title of the video and the thumbnail, but we are doing some more cattle work. Pretty much what we're doing is the cattle that we herded a few videos ago that we moved into the feedlot area that they're that you saw in the uh, that video at the very end and in the last video, the making cattle feed video. Um, we are we are gonna be running all those cows, which I think it's like 40 some head of cows, and I think there's like 30 some head of calves in there. Um, we're gonna be running all them through. We're gonna be running them through the chute, checking on them. I, I don't know, I don't I don't know if we're gonna have a vet on site to do a checkup on the herd. I don't know. All I know is that we're running them through the chute. And then they have built uh, our usual temporary winter electric fence out in the cornfield just north of the uh, of the feedlot area down there at Scott's Dad's. And uh, we're going to be putting all those cows and calves out into the cornfield for the winter. We always do that every winter after harvest. Gives them a chance, you know, gives them a whole bunch of corn stalks and uh, sp spilled corn to eat. Plenty of space, you know, all this stuff. And... Uh, so we're gonna be putting them out into the field tomorrow. So, big day. We got a lot of work to get done with these cattle. So, hope you guys are ready for another cattle video. Um, oh, they're opening the door. Yay, somebody's actually coming in. We're actually making some progress. We're actually making some progress. They opened the door. We're making progress now. But So I guess this is a good time for me to go ahead and uh, end it here. I was going to wrap it up anyway, but uh, I just seen the front door open here. But I'm going to go ahead and just chill out in the truck. I'll get some nighttime footage um, once we're on the road because the sun's already going down. But uh, 
We're gonna get loaded and we're gonna take this load back to the shop. It is Monday morning, December 19th. We're out here with the with the cattle you guys are very familiar with. We just got the skid loader warmed up. Scott's on the way up. Ray has been grabbing corn stock bales. We're gonna use these bales to kind of make this holding pen a little bigger. So we're gonna start making our pen. All right, Scott's bringing in the first bale. Pretty much, I, I guess I talked to dad again. I asked dad this morning. We're not quite sure if the electric fence got built in the cornfield or not. So there's a chance these guys are just going to stay here in this lot until that fence gets built. But pretty much we are having the vet come out today and just do a herd checkup on these guys. Uh, preg checking any cows or, well I think these are just cows, we don't have heifers up here. Um, preg checking the cows, checking on the calves, seeing how everybody's doing. And speaking of cows and calves, in the building there in that chute i'll have to i'll have to remember to try and show you but we had a cow uh drop a calf about a week ago so it is our first calf of the season so the calf is about a week old i'll try to make sure i show you guys but scott's placing the bales in position there's ray putting another bale down we're just using them to kind of extend the the pens so we can hold everybody in a decent manner. Okay, the, we're pretty much done bringing bales in. You can see we pretty much just built a U to kind of just extend the pen out. Give it a little bit more space to fit a few more cows. I got the gate all locked back up and we are headed back down. Don't know what else we gotta get done before the vet gets here, but we'll find out. I'll probably be able to give you guys a sneak peek at the cow and her week old calf as well. I'll be able to give you guys a look. So let's see what happens. All right, we had to have the charger. So this puppy would start the 44. 4430 with the manure spreader. We got to get it out of here. Because here's our chute system. That's the chute we're going to send them through. So here's the chute. And I'll give you guys a look. Hi, Mama. I know you're angry. You're in mother mode right now. There's Mom. And there's the little baby calf right there. A week old. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. I won't... Uh, I won't get up too close for too long because motherly cow instincts are very deadly. So 
you got to look at our first calf of the year but uh, we're gonna keep on cleaning stuff out we're starting to herd them up that's it So we got them herded in it. We didn't have any slip on us or anything a whole lot easier than uh, herding them out of the field. That's for sure. Um, but we got them herded and we got them put into the holding pen. So I'll kind of show you the setup because I, as of right now, I do not know where I'll be, um, where I'm stationed, you know, what I'm going to be doing. So I don't know how much footage I'm going to be able to shoot for you guys when we are sending them through the shoot. I'll try my very best. Um, but if you do want to see some, I have another video on the channel of uh, running cows through this same shoot. And it is the video called Cow AI and Rodeo Prep. We run cows through here and we artificially inseminate them in that video. So if you do want to see the cattle going through the shoot, guaranteed there's already some on the channel. I'll try to shoot some new stuff today. Uh, but Scott took the skid loader up and Ray took the feed wagon up and they're just gonna make some feed up and fill this bunk. But I'll show you guys kind of from where the cows are at and kind of take you through the chute system. I kind of have to go through the chute backwards, but uh, I'll show you. They were out here in the, hold, in, the, in the lot and we herded them around the bale and they came right through here and they did, some of them slipped through here and went around. But we got them here into the holding pen. Hello, everybody. And you can see back there our makeshift U that we made with the cornstalk bales just to extend this pen a little bit more just to fit everybody. And plus, it kind of provides a snack for them to chew on down there. But they're in here. And then when we're ready to start sending them through the chute, we'll start herding them through. They'll go through that door there. They'll go through that door right over there. And they will come through, they'll go through that door, and they'll pop out in here where these cows are. These are the same cows. They'll pop through that door, and then they'll kind of get held in here a little bit, a few of them. And then in there, you can see the weak old calf right there inside on the other side of that gate. That is the start of the chute system. We'll have that gate open. The cows will go into the chute system. There's mom now popping out. So they'll go through that door, They'll go through the chute system. Gotta walk out of here, out of the lot. They'll go through that little gate there where we saw the calf. And then that is where they will pop out. That is this same doorway here. Hi, mama. They'll pop right here and they'll go through. I'm not gonna hurt your baby, I promise. I'm not gonna hurt your baby. But they'll go through that gate and they'll come up and we'll kind of hold some in here as well. And then we start to get really individualized because then, um, this is kind of a dangerous act, but I'm gonna do it anyway. I'm gonna go in the pen because this is the chute right here. This is the head gate. I'll kind of go to the very end here. This is the, this is the head gate where one cow will come through, stick their head through, it'll lock. Then the vet will be able to open this door and the vet can come in. I'm now in the chute as if I'm behind a cow. We can preg check, they can do whatever they need to do. We'll give vaccinations, whatever needs to be done. I'll shut this door. And then what'll happen is we'll make our way backwards. They'll come through here and pretty much I'll just peek in because I don't want mom to charge me. There's the rest of it. There's mom and they'll just come around. There's a swing gate. So we can kind of swing it around this semicircle to keep pushing them through so that they can't step back. They'll come through and then we'll start individualizing. They'll get in a straight line right here in this alley part of the chute. And then we'll start going one by one cows through the chute there. I'll leave the chute now so that mom doesn't want to kill me. 
I'll go ahead and shut and lock this head gate. Okay. And then what's going to happen is when we are done with the cow and they've they've been preg checked, they've been vaccinated, whatever the vet has to do to them to make sure they're okay with their checkup, we will release the head gate and they'll come out and we're going to have this shut. Right now it's open because the vet's going to bring their pickup into here so that all their medicine, their tools, anything they need is right next to the chute. And once their pickup is in here, we are gonna shut these doors and then there's still gonna be a gap in the middle. So, we, so we're gonna park the skid loader in front of that to close that gap. So they won't be able to get out there. So they'll come out of the head gate and they'll just run right through here. And then this will send them right through. This is the other side of the holding pen. And then they can just run right back out into the cattle lot where they came from. So it's pretty much just a big circle is what they're doing. And then they're back out in the pen where they came from. The vet's gonna be here in about an hour or so, about one o'clock, they'll be here. So you guys can calm down a little bit, just chill for a while. I figured I would show you guys, you know, the, the shoot system, and the process, how they're gonna get moved, where they're gonna go and stuff like that. But uh, obviously the shoot is set up Everything's ready. Um, the only thing left is obviously the first cows to go through are gonna be uh, mom and baby here. They're gonna be the first to go through. We're gonna send them through and uh, check up on the newborn. I guess he's not a newborn anymore. I, I think it's a boy. I think Ray said it was a bull calf. I guess I didn't check. But they'll be the first to go through. We'll get a check up on them. Get kind of a postpartum check up on mom there. And then they'll go out and then we'll start sending the rest of the herd through. But that's kind of the shoot system. I figured now that they're mixing feed, we're kind of done setting stuff up and moving the cattle for now. I'd give you guys a look at how that works. And uh, that's the same system obviously that we used in the cow AI video too. So I'm gonna go ahead and wait for them. They're just making feed up. They're gonna fill the bunk and uh, we'll go from there. All right, we got mom and baby through the chute. Now I'm on the gate back here, coming out of the holding pen, so you won't be able to see much shoot action, at least for now. Hey girls, hey girls. Are you trying to sort the calves off? Got one slipping through here. Oh, there we go. Two, three. Got it. There goes one that just came out of the sheet. Hey, cow. Hey, cow. Oh. 
Hi, hi. Trying to do the cows first. Because with the calves, you gotta bring the head gate down. We're trying to do the calves last. So we're kind of trying to sort as we go here. Calf, come on. Are you gonna go with that? Ha ha ha! Doing some more, got another batch. Huh, calves? Stay back. Come on. It's a bigger calf. It's like starting to snow out there now. These cows came out of the chute. They're going back out to the pan or out into the lot. Come on, cat. Okay, got one anyway. Hey, cow, come on. That's a good girl. Come on. So I'll put it good out there. No red, not yet. This is gonna take a while. Okay. I'm not wanting to stay in. It's been a while now. They weren't wanting to move. Easy babies. Easy calves. Easy, hey. Back. Come on. Don't get your head in there. They all think they can get through the bars. Easy calves. guys your turn come on hi 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 oh, hi hi can't do that come on that's a good looking group Come on. You gonna shut the gate for us? <laughs> Come back. Come on guys, hi. Let's go in the pen. Come on guys. No, not the white face. I don't want that white face cow. Come on guys. Hey, hey, hey. Ah. Cow crap on my face. Come on, buddy. Hey, cow, cow, cow. Can you tell he slipped? 
Hey, 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 come on guys. Let's put some more in, let's go. Come on. Hey, hey, hey. Come on guys. Get out of the corner. Hey, 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 come on Charlotte. Let's go, there we go. Come on. My phone is about to die here, guys. So you probably won't be able to see the end of this process. Come on, guys. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, hey. Come on, Cal. Go on. How do I got in there? Enough. I got enough. All right, guys. It's now about 6 o'clock. Uh, me and Dad got home about maybe 20 minutes ago. We got home. We got our winter stuff off. And uh, we had something to eat. And now we're just chilling out. I was able to give you guys a lot of footage there. Pretty much after my phone died, I went out and got one more group. Or maybe it was two more groups of cattle. Just like I did at the very end of the last clip there. I went out. Uh, Ray just stayed in and uh, managed the the swing gate that goes around the, around the corral there. I went out and I actually sent the cows in to the barn there. And uh, I just did that two more times, brought everybody else in. We went through, got everybody else done, back out into the lot, and we came back. So you guys really didn't miss a lot. I hope you guys did enjoy watching that. And we'll kind of go into detail on what the vet was doing. Um, like I said, it was mo mostly a herd checkup, checking on every cow, making sure that they were okay. Um, and also, it was kind of like a calf management kind of deal as well when we'd have a calf come through because they, uh, what we did was obviously everybody, if they needed a vaccination, um, I don't know, did they all get a vaccination? I don't know. I was in the back running the cows through. So I guess I didn't see everything the vet was doing, but they were given vaccinations and uh, they were preg checking, making, seeing if, uh, if they were obviously not the calves, but when the cows came through, she would uh, preg check them to see if they are obviously pregnant with calves. And there were a lot more that were open than we had originally thought, which it happens. But uh, so obviously we had quite a few bred cows as well that are expecting calves. But we have a good chunk of cows as well that are, are not pregnant this winter. But... Uh, Anyhow, that was another thing that they did, was preg checking and uh, on top of the vaccinations. And then the calves, especially, when a calf would come through, uh, they would decide, uh, they would look and see if it was a bull or if it was a heifer. And if it was a heifer, they just gave the vaccine, whatever they needed to do with her, not as much goes into that if they're a heifer. And then they release the heifer back out. But if it was a bull calf, it takes a little bit longer because she would pull out her utensil and she would uh, and uh, begin the castration process on them, which the method that she used was banding. Uh, banding is a very commonly used uh, method of castration in bulls. Pretty much, the long story short of it, uh, take a, a, a gun, or I shouldn't say a gun, but a, a clamp kind of deal, you ha and it has a rubber band pretty much on there or an elastic band something like that and you pretty much take that and you stretch it out and you put it over um i'm just going to be blunt with it the testicles of the bull and you go all the way up to the top as far up as you can pretty much go and then you release the band and it pretty much tightens it up to the point where it stops blood circulation and it ends up they end up just drying out and eventually they will fall off. So we were you doing that to the bull calves as well so that they become steers. And uh, that was a big thing. And then a few of the cows, a lot of our cows are pulled, which means that they don't have horns. But some of the cows that we were running through, um, the cows we didn't worry about. There were a few cows that had some horns on their heads, but we didn't worry about them. If a calf came through, and we could, there were a few calves that had some little buds going on. Um, the vet had a burner deal. And it goes right over the bud of the horn. And it pretty much stops all growth from the horn. And it uh, pretty much 
it's a kind of a I w it's kind of a dehorning method. I wouldn't say it's dehorning because they're not removing the horn. It's just stopping the growth, so it can't go any further. But uh, so that was another thing that they were doing as well. So pretty much just an overall checkup, getting stuff done that needed done for the cows and calves. And also, um, I can't remember which one. I can't remember if he was marking the bread cows or if he was marking the open cows. I think he was marking the bread cows, the ones that were pregnant. Um, he was putting a, a certain color ear tag on the pregnant cows so that if we end up going in and sorting those cows up a little bit, we can sort off um, the ones that are open and not bred from the bread cows. But uh, overall, the cows moved all right. Uh, they moved really well when we herded them into the holding pen. And then it took uh, it took a while to, once we got started to get them herded, to get them into the barn and start sending them through the chute. But after a while, they just moved a little bit better. Definitely, we had some feisty ones. There were definitely some feisty ones in there. But it was kind of funny because after we got done, we were coming back to the shop. Dad looked at me and goes, so how many times did you get kicked? And I says, luckily none, because obviously I'm getting really close to the cattle when I am when I was out there herding them in, and they very well could have just threw a leg back. And they did that a couple times in the corral or in the chute, and they just they obviously they were just kicking the gate. But wow, it's a it's a bullet. Obviously I know that, but you don't see it coming. It's bam. It's loud. It's quick. It, it comes out of nowhere, so that could have happened to me multiple times. I'm glad that it didn't. I got a little bit of, little bit of uh, mud slash cow manure kind of thrown on me, but hey, that happens. Not a big deal. But I uh, hope you guys did enjoy this video, sending cattle through the chute, and we did some nighttime trucking last night as well, hauling some feed back to the shop. But I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you guys did, make sure you guys smash the like button on this video. Spread the word of the channel, guys. Um, I can't imagine. I guess I don't know yet. I haven't heard what, what's going to happen uh, next weekend. But um, I probably, obviously I won't see you guaranteed until Monday if I film. So I hope you guys, if you guys celebrate Christmas, I hope you guys have a wonderful, very Merry Christmas. And uh hope you guys have an amazing time with friends, family, whatever the case may be. I know we're expecting to get a lot of snow, uh, something about six to eight inches um, later this week. So we'll probably have a nice white Christmas. It was snowing a little bit today, but not very much. But uh, so I hope you guys have a very Merry Christmas, since I probably won't see you until after Christmas, of course. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.